Hi kids. So during a power outage, what would you use to see at night? Maybe a flashlight or a glow stick? Well, in today's verse, we're going to learn about something that can tell us how to get to God. Like a flashlight would show us where, uh, where the right path to go is. And if you have a Bible where you're watching this, you can go to the ta table of contents, which is at the beginning of your Bible, and look up a uh, psalm. And uh, psalm is spelled P-S-A-L-M, but the first letter you do not you do you don't say, which is why it is called psalm. And then you'll look for the then you'll look for the big number one nineteen, and go uh, and go until you find the verse uh, 105, which it's, uh, it, it's a little, but you should be able to see it. Um, and Psalm 119 is actually the biggest chapter in the Bible. Um, and so it says, your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. Now, um, uh, a guy who lived a long time ago named David, who, um, he wrote this. Um, he wrote, your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. He wrote it. He was telling God how happy he was that God's word, the Bible, was showing him where to go. Um, and... If you have not trusted in Jesus, you can uh, you can look to the Bible to find out where you need to go to trust Jesus as your Savior. God sent Jesus to die on the cross for your sins. And sin is anything you think, say, or do that does not please God or breaks his rules. Sin is telling your mom or dad that you cleaned your room or you did your homework when you really didn't or taking something from someone else without asking that is sin and God sent Jesus to die for your sins but after he died do you think he stayed dead well actually three days later he came back to life and so um, you, if you trust that Jesus did this for you, you can pray and tell God that you trust that Jesus died for your sins and rose again. If you have trusted in Jesus, you can read the Bible daily and see what God wants you to do. And you can know the Bible is true because God does not lie. And God says it's true. You can know the Bible is true. Now, let's play a fun game to help us remember this verse. So, I'm going to hold this up, and I'm going, so, I'm going to spin this. And so, if it, if it lands on gold or any, if it lands on green, gold, dark, or red, um, we would say the words that are that color. But if it lands on clean, um, uh, we we will um uh, we will stand up for the whole verse. With the rests, we will stand up, but we'll sit down uh, when when it comes to those words. So I'm gonna spin it, and then we'll say we'll sit down when we come to those words that are that color. Unless, of course, it's the white, which so it happens to me. Um, so we're going to stand up for the whole verse then. Psalm 119, 105. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. Psalm 119, 105. So let's do it another time, shall we? Uh, 
you know what? Since we just did this, why don't why don't we uh, why don't we just spin it one more time? Since we just did this. Okay, green it is. So, so you'll we'll sit down when we get to the green words. Psalm one nineteen one o five. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. Psalm one nineteen one o five. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> Okay, so the dark words we will sit down. Okay, Psalm 119, 105. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. Psalms 119, 105. Let's do it one more time. The green words again. So remember, sit down with what when we say that color of words. Psalm 119, 105. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. Psalm 119, 105. Bye, kids. <laughs>